Hello, welcome on Travels and Code channel. In this video, I will show you how we can test React hooks, React custom hooks. We know that React 16 introduced hooks, custom hooks we can use. We can use default hooks which uh, React provides and we can create our custom hooks. And using these hooks, sometimes we have a problem how we can test these custom hooks. So in this video, I will show you how we can test two different hooks, custom hooks I created for you. So the first one, it will be use boolean toggle. Let's take a look how it looks. It's very simple hook. We are using state status and we are changing this status by calling function handle status change. And we return object with status and handle status change. Let's take a look how it looks in using. So we have simple application React. We created from the scratch, create React app. And uh, in app component, we have the next. We are using this hook. We are importing from hooks. And we create hook. By default, we have false. And we have two variables, it's status and handles change. So in code we have button and when we click we just call handle status change. It will switch status from false to true and from true to false back. And uh, here we have part if status is true we show this message. Let's take a look how it looks, how we can use it. We have this button. When we click this button we show this message. And click again, we hide this message. So it's very simple hook, but it's uh, very useful. And I very often use this hook in my components. So let's take a look on implementation. So next, what we need, we need, uh, let's create, let's take a look on test. How do we test this hook? So to test hooks, custom hooks, we need to use the React hook, hooks testing library. Let's go to npm and take a look what's inside. So it's very popular library for testing React hooks. It's, it is based on, let me show, on React test renderer. We need to install it and it's and React also. How it works. First of all, the problem. What's the problem do we have? When we try to call hook node inside the function, we will see this warning or error that hooks that hooks can only be called inside the body of function component. It's a golden rule of hooks. We cannot use them in a class components or somewhere inside um, other structures. So to test to solve this problem, we can use this library. How it works? Let's go back. Let's go to packages on. We will see that we have this library installed. We have React test renderer and we have React scripts by default. Okay, in test, we are using two functions. It's render hook and act. Render hooked, let's take a look. So we have describe it, it should handle toggling. And we have render hook and we pass callback function. And in this function, we are passing our hook. It's use callback, use boolean toggle and default value is false. As a result of this function, we have object result. In object result, we have property current and this current object will represent our hook because of, as we see, we have current handle status change and current status. So to execute some method, we can use another function is act. Act is a special function which will emulate behavior of this hook inside the browser. So we call act, pass callback function, and as a result we execute this method. After that we compare result. Current status, it should be true. Because of default was false, we toggled this value and it should be true. After that we again using act and uh, handle status change. We executed and we have false. It was a simple option how we can test hooks. The next one, I have another 
hook. This one was very simple. We can take a look on the sample for this documentation. It's almost the same, but here we are using use counter. This one is a bit complex. Okay, and how we can test really complex hooks? So I have another one, it's use REST for calling REST to APIs. And here we have, let's take a look, what do we have? We have index. In this hook, we are using a reducer, use reduce hook. Also, we are using a lot of uh, default hooks, such as use state, use effect, use reducer, use callback. And uh, how it works? We have we have use rest hook, and uh, we pass URL method. It can be get, post, put, or any other, and data. After that, we are using use state to set this data, and we have reducer, and we have use effect to make a call. So it looks a bit difficult, but anyway, it works. And it's a sample of more or less difficult hook, which should be tested as well. So we have result. So we try to do a call. We call agent. Let's take a look what do we have inside agent. For agent, we are using Axios. If you want to learn more about Axios, how it works, I have a separate videos. How to use it, you can find it in the description. For Axios and for agent, we have two methods. It's get with method get and post with method post. Also we have some config and passing data. For reducer we have actions. We are using actions. Let's take a look. It's just fetching, fetched and error. And in reducer it's just simple reducer. We are passing state and based on the action we provide new state. So we provide result is data in case we are fetching it is loading true, then if data was fetched, we are showing error, it's loading false and data, and in case we had error, we are showing error. Let's go back to index. So we are calling agent and method. Also we are passing additional configuration for this sample, it's timeout. And uh, in case if we have method post, we are passing data this section. In case we, are, we have method get, we don't, do not need to pass any data. Then we check if it was cancelled. We can cancel this hook. Also what do we have? We have do fetch and do send functions. For do fetch we are using use callback, set config and calling method get and passing URL. For do send it will be post request. We are putting send URL, send data, and that's it. And this hook returns state, do fetch and do set. State we are taking from reducer, let me remind you. So in state we will have error data. So it looks a bit more complex hook. So let's take a look how it works. What benefits we can receive from this hook. In this sample let's import Let's import this hook. The next one we need to use it. So we will have we are using user rest and we will have data, error, and we will use method do fetch because of we want to do a get call. And after that we need custom. We need the default hook is use effect. It's the, one of the most useful hooks in React. If you want to get more information how we can use this hook, leave a comment and I will create a separate video for just for using this effect. And uh, in our code, let's so let's do it for for data. If we have data, we will console for data. As a dependency, we have data from the hook, and let's do the same for error. Error, and we will show error. The same use effect, and we need to make a call. Let's create a button 
to use the simple button and for on click we need create a function. So we have on click, we will do, do fetch and we pass an API. It's just the Star Wars API to get the first planet, for example. The next. And it, that's it. Let's reload. Okay, let's take a look how it works. Let's press get data and what do we see? We have result, it's Tatooine. Let's check network. Let's click again. Okay, let's reload. So get data and we see that request was executed and we have response. And we consult log this response. The next. So this hook works. And now how we can test this hook? Let's go to test. So first of all we will test reducer. It's the easiest part because of reducer is just a pure function. So we have actions, we have our suit reducer. And for reducer we have action, for example fetch state, and we have expected result. So we just call reducer and we will get result. So it's not a hook, it's just a function. And now let's go to hook. So in our case, we again, we are using React hooks testing library. We are using render hook and act. Also about act. We can go to documentation. Let's read documentation and um, To get more information about ACT, we can read React documentation because of it's from React. And here we will get additional information about ACT, how it works and how we can use it to test hooks. So it was from React DOM test utils. In, and in our library it's a wrapper. Okay, we have render hook and ACT. We are using REST, use REST hook important. And as we are using agent, Axios, we need mock this agent because of we don't need it directly. In case we are using unit test, we are never doing real network calls. Then we again we have fake this agent. And in our test we have describe, we have this hook, and um, let's take a look on the first test. First of all, we need to mock get result. So we have fake agent default and for get method we create and can mock is mock result value and it will return this data. After that we are using render hook and we have the same sample which we used for use boolean toggle. We render use rest and pass URL and default data. We can pass it. And we expect that we do not execute so it not make any get call because of we didn't call fetch method. We just pass the URL and it's empty URL. So it should be shouldn't be executed. The next one we pass in URL. We the same fake result and when we have URL and we set user result, we see that it should be executed get and it should be called with URL and this config. This config we added additionally in Here, so we added this config in our hook. And the next one for a get, we will use get do fetch. So we passed URL, we mocked as well result, result. When we manually call fetch, we should call get request with these parameters. So again, render hook, we have current result current and we are executing do fetch function with this url as a result we need to execute this get should be executed with these parameters and the last one is for 
testing post request do send as well we are mocking data we are we are rendering hook and we are passing url as a result post method of agent should be executed to use the next parameters and now let's try to test it npm run test So we executed all tests. This is a nine test were passed, and uh, everything works great. So let's wrap up. What do we need to test the React hooks, custom hooks? In packages only, we need to install React hooks testing library and test renderer React for tests. We are using render hook and act to call some methods in this hook, and after that we will get data in current. Let's take a look on this one. We see that in current we have status and we can use it. It's pretty easy to test React hooks. To get more information, you can take a look at description. In the description, I will provide a link to GitHub repository with this sample and all links you can take a look to learn how to use hooks and how to test react hooks so thank you for watching soon there will be more interesting videos about react also you can find great videos how to use react with real practice examples in my youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you for watching